Okay, this video talks about the fixed asset release that has happened recently on SOI Books. So, um, in order to see whether it's enabled or not, you have to click on Accountant. And here on this setting, we can see that it has not been enabled. So, we have to go to the Settings tab and we look for the General Preferences. Um, I just type the Preferences. And here's our fixed assets. So now we can save that. And we can close the settings, hop to accountant, and here's our fixed assets. So now we need to create an asset type. So if we go to the major asset types, and we want to create the type of fixed asset. So here, for instance, we might say it's a computer um, hardware. So we're going to say the depreciation method is straight line. Um, we're going to say that we do it monthly. We say that it's actually going to only be three years. So that will be 36 months. And the computation type. So we have a non pro rata or pro rata. So the pro rata is the depreciation is calculated on the exact number of days the asset is used, or the non pro rata is the average number of months or years that the assets is used. Um, so say you're buying something on the 15th of the month, then half of a month will be pro rata accordingly. So I'm going to go pro rata for this one. So this is where now we're on the account details and we're setting up where it needs to be coded to. So where do you want the accumulated depreciation account to be set. So there is no um, account for currently sitting there. So we're going new account and we will create fixed asset and we will say depreciation on um, computers. And then the depreciation account, I may have a depreciation account. Nope. I just put PL on there and because then I know that's where it's going. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so now we have our fixed asset type set up. Now there is one other thing that we need to do. So if we've got computer hardware as our type we need to make sure that we have a fixed asset code for this so if we go to the chart of accounts um, and we go to new account and we can say that it's a fixed asset we can say um, computer hardware and we can say this is but here we get this when this account is associated with a line item as transaction create the item as a fixed asset by ticking this box, what that it means is that the the bill will be associated to that particular fixed asset. So this is a really important piece just for that audit trail. So we can tick that and we can say that's do with computer hardware. You're now ready to start using the fixed asset module.